This is a fan request that came through recently, and if you guys have suggestions for future topics you'd like to see me cover, then use the Google form in the description box below. I've got some amazing suggestions from you guys, so keep them coming. Today's story involves a feud between two bands who were huge in the 90s, the Smashing Pumpkins and Collective Soul. Stay tuned for the full story. Collective Soul ascended to prominence in the mid-90s with their 1994 hit single Shine. From their debut album, the song was a huge hit, topping the US mainstream rock charts, and it was also a crossover hit peaking at number 11 on the US Billboard Hot 100. Ed Roland, the singer for Collective Soul, recalled the song facts how he came up with the song revealing, I had riffs. This was the late 80s and I was writing a lot of songs. I called it Drone. I was in a band at the time, but I always had the Shine riff. And I thought, that's a cool riff. Then I came home and spent nights with my parents and Dean, who was 10 years younger than me. I didn't even know he played guitar, so he was playing guitar and I just joined in. I just showed him the riff and I was like, I need to finish this. So I literally just wrote it right there with Dean, sitting in my parents' living room. I didn't think about it. I probably wrote it in 1989 and it wasn't out till 1994, he'd say. Because of the lyrical content of Shine, some in the press labeled Collective Soul as a Christian or religious band because of the mention of the word heaven in the lyrics. Roland elaborated to Pop Matters. I remember around the time that Shine came out, getting into an argument with a writer who said, you're a Christian band. I said, no we're not. Well, you have the word heaven in your song. And I said, well, so does Led Zeppelin. I don't remember anyone saying they're a Christian band. It was during the time that Shine was getting a lot of attention that the Smashing Pumpkins frontman Billy Corgan slammed Collective Soul in the press, referring to Roland as a shameless ripoff artist. Corgan was allegedly upset over how similar the song sounded to the Smashing Pumpkins song, Drown. According to Cleveland.com, Corgan was so upset that he sued Collective Soul in the mid-90s, but Roland was able to produce a demo of the song that dated back to 1989, which predated the formation of the Smashing Pumpkins. It was rumored that Collective Soul for their second album, which was self-titled and came out in 1995, wrote a diss track about Corgan called Smashing Young Man. While Corgan isn't named in the track, there are lyrics like synthetic-like and saying he lives in a self-led spotlight. And as recently as 2020, Ed Roland gave an interview to Cleveland.com where he clarified what the song was about, saying, Everyone thought that because he was busy smack-talking about us all the time, which didn't bother me at all. It's just a fun song, and the next thing you know Billy starts coming at me again and I'm like, dude, no, no, no. And then finally, there was one point where I just said, yeah, it was written about him, sure. Whatever he wants to think, I don't care. But I love Smashing Pumpkins. If I ever met Billy, i tell him what a great musician, great songwriter he is. I've got nothing negative to say. I've got other things to do in my life than bitch about people, he'd say. The Smashing Pumpkins would surprisingly cover Shine at a 2010 show, and here's what happened. <laughs> Fast forward to 2019 and Billy Corgan was answering fan questions on Instagram when one fan asked the frontman if he ever made peace with Collective Soul, to which he replied, F Collective Soul, now and always. So that does it for today's video guys, thanks for watching. Go listen to both of the songs and let me know if you see any similarities. And as always, if you have suggestions for future topics, use the Google form down below. Take care.